Hello, Dave Hurwitz at ClassicsToday.com here to talk to you about this new release of Pictures in an Exhibition, the Mosorgsky Ravel and Ravel's Lavals, conducted by Francois Xavier Roth and his period instrument band Les Siècles. Now, I'm going to have to go to like anger management after discussing this performance. So I think maybe just to relax a little bit, I should start with a joke. You know, um, you may have heard this one, but it helps anyway, just to get my composure. You know, an elderly Jewish couple leaves a restaurant after the early bird special somewhere in Miami, and the wife turns to the husband and says, what did you think of the food? And he says, awful. And he turns to her and says, and what did you think of the food? And she says, ah, it was terrible. And the husband sighs and says, yeah, and such small portions. Well, that's what I think of when I hear this. Short playing time, but who cares? It's terrible. Let, 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 let me, I, I couldn't call this a CD from hell as I would the most awful performances, you know, that we review at classicstoday.com because the playing isn't bad as such. It's just pretentiously wrong and the concept is wrong. See, what Rott is telling us is that pictures in an exhibition makes all the difference in the world if you play it on period instruments. Well, what period are we talking about? We're talking about the 1920s. Is he telling me, is this pompous ass telling us that the conductors who were alive in the 1920s, who subsequently recorded pictures in an exhibition, didn't know what it was supposed to sound like, that they were the, the helpless pawns uh, of whatever instruments their players happened to be using? I mean, are they telling us that, I mean, let's, let's make a list, a short list. George Zell, well, there's one. Fritz Reiner, there's another one. Kuzovitsky himself, who commissioned this orchestration. I mean, they all made recordings of this work. They were all around in the 1920s. Ernest Alsermé, he was there in the 1920s. I mean, they were there. They recorded the work. They recorded it in magnificent stereo, a lot of them. I mean, Kuzovitsky, no, he recorded it in 1930. But, you know, what? what is he saying? What kind of nonsense is he pushing on us? You know, the the there's a version of it that I talked about in my in my overview of pictures in an exhibition recording, the Quiton, that was recorded in 1958 with the Paris Conservatory Orchestra. That's the authentic sound of French orchestra playing, which you would have heard in the 1920s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. And you know what? It doesn't sound anything like this. Not a bit, not a single bit. The brass here are weak. They don't penetrate. They don't play with the necessary vibrato. The string section is undernourished, and for that reason, it's over miked. So the balances are off. The woodwinds have not a shred of French character to their sound. There's none of that sec nasal quality that French woodwind playing had. None of it. It's, 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 it's a disgrace. It's a, it's a lie, the whole performance. It's just, it's, 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 he's a, Roth is a used car salesman. That's trying to, trying to sell you, you know, a clunker, a lemon. You know, the performance itself, it's faceless. It's faceless. Roth takes the opening promenade very quickly, and then he sort of plays everything else at the same speed. I mean, the old castle, there's not a shred of poetry in it. Bidlow, the ox cart, it doesn't lumber and there's no crescendo, there's no central crescendo. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have any sense of, of, of that grinding, heavy, lumbering quality that the music has to have that Ravel so, so beautifully orchestrated. I mean, the only thing that goes really fast is Limoges, which still is something of a blur. I mean, God knows, I mean, these people can play the notes, but what on earth do they know? What do they really know about French orchestral style to the extent that they can duplicate it? It doesn't matter what instruments you use. The performance is not made by the instruments. The performance is made by how they are played. 
by what the performers do. And it doesn't seem to me, based on this, that they have any idea of what style they're trying to evoke. And anybody can evoke it. You just have to want to do it. It has nothing to do with whether you're using a 1922 clarinet made by the, you know, Fru Fru Clarinet Company of Marseille. I mean, what kind of crap is that? It's, it's, it's so aggravating. And then he decides he's going to cap it all off with La Valls, a performance of total, total shapelessness at the start. Then there's this huge slowdown in the middle for that little quiet bit. And then another final climax that just fizzles. That just fizzles. Why? Because the orchestra doesn't have the guts to play the music the way it's supposed to be played. The end of it should sound like like Vienna waltzing with the bombs dropping behind it and the universe exploding. And there's none of that here. There's none of that here. It's, it's, it's a safe, somewhat excessively manipulated towards the latter half performance. But authenticity? Is he kidding? What kind of authenticity could there possibly be with these people? And with him, I, I'm so disgusted by, by the the pretension, just the chutzpah, that's the word, the chutzpah that this man has telling us that he has some key to authenticity that the performers who are actually around and who knew Ravel and who made recordings of this work didn't have. Well, screw him. Keep on listening, folks. Thank you.